Okay, sometimes when we're talking to kids about integers um, and we get into adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers, um, you know, kids have a hard time visualizing what's happening and how two um, negatives multiplied together can become a positive and so on and so forth. So we're going to talk about the concept of zero. And this is something that um, I personally spend a lot of time on so that kids have a firm understanding of how zero helps us solve so many things in mathematics. Um, so basically, we get the kids to start to realize, I mean, I use whiteboards like this in my classroom with the kids all the time, but um, just doing things like we can add zero as many times as we want, and it never changes the value of our original number. And so um, when we start with integers, um, whether or not we have a positive or a negative, the idea that no matter what I add to this positive, th or no matter how many times I add zero to this positive three, it's always going to be a positive three. Same thing as no matter how many times I add zero to this negative three, um, the answer will always be negative three. And then how do we get kids to start to visualize this? Well, we can use um, integer disks or algae tiles. I have algae tiles here. Um, you can also just have them draw things out. I'll show you that in a second too. Um, but if we start to show um, six, so I'll use blue for positive. So I'm going to put down six and say, okay, each of these represents one positive and I have six positives and I have three zeros here. Well, how could I represent a zero using integer disks? And kids will quickly decide that a positive plus a negative is a zero. No one take away one is one. Um, and we can add this as many times as we want and it never changes the value of our positive six. So once they kind of understand this concept, we can get into how we can use zeros to solve um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with integers.